Hello and welcome back to my return to glory Wimbledon career mode. I finally found time for it after almost, well, two weeks of FIFA. Um, so, I mean, I'm incredibly rusty on this game. Um, you guys have probably forgotten what's even happening in this career mode, considering the last video was quite a while ago, um, as well if I remember correctly. But basically, we are Wimbledon, we're trying to return to glory, and um, we are fourth at the moment in the league, somehow, some way. Um, but this is definitely going to be a stern test, possibly one of the biggest tests of the season, as we're just putting uh, everything on here. Um, also, um, there w it was a deadline day after the uh, last uh, video. I decided not to make a video out of that, just so I could kind of get this moving a bit quicker. But uh, basically, I, as you can just see, I just did, I did just um, put, a, uh, put a new centre back in. Um, basically, I signed this guy called uh, Louis um, something Gutierrez. I can't remember his middle name. It's it's quite a long name. Um, but basically, he's a 64 um, centre back, so um, just slightly better in overall than. Um, some of my other defenders such as Frampton so I thought I'd put him in there give him his debut in this game so hopefully he will not disappoint um, otherwise we could be looking um, at falling down the table here because uh, we really do need to keep piling the pressure on everyone because um, we're fourth at the moment but I mean if we lose we could be out of the playoff positions um, and Accrington and Stanley are currently 11th I believe um, they do have quite a dangerous team they actually have James Beatty um, the old striker, uh, 35 years old now. But yeah, look at that. If we lose, we we could be in serious trouble dropping down. But if we win, we could go second, depending on other results. So um, this is a very big game, especially at home, um, as Cheltenham instantly take the lead there. Uh, so yeah, this is a big game for us here. If we win this, we we are in really good shape. Uh, as we head into our first game in September. Oh, here's Frankham though, and here's a chance. Only chipped it across, and there was no one really there in the middle, sadly. Uh, but that's a promising, promising start. Um, exactly what I want to see um, in the early goings. Although, oh no, he's offside. This Weber guy looks like he could be slightly dangerous. Um, Ackington saying definitely well set up. They've definitely come on leaps and bounds, much like Wimbledon over the years, kind of uh, from non-league, a solid league two club now. Um, but um, I have to say the scheduling is a bit weird on this game. Well, I think everyone pretty much already knows that. But um, basically there was the international break, which I didn't even think applied to League 2 and leagues like that since no one really gets into international teams in League 2 um, unless they play for, like, I don't know, some African team or something. But, um, I mean, oof. I don't think it affected it, but that meant that we had a two-week break after transfer deadline day and the uh, last game against Torquay, which we won. 1-0, um, I believe. Um, that's poorly given away. And Speaking of poorly given away, um, we give it away as well. Chesterfield winning again. They're top of the league, if I remember correctly, as well. Uh, oh, they've got a chance here. And, uh-oh. Well, me dribbling on. Rustiness. Poor defending. All equals a 1-0 um, deficit here. Um, and that's very disappointing. That's poor defending, really. And there's no one in the middle. The keeper was just stood still. And um, now we've got a bit of a job on our hands here. But, yeah, the, the scheduling is going to be a problem for me as well here, as I said, was was saying. Because uh, for some reason we had a two-week break and now we have this game. And then three days after we have a game on the Tuesday against uh, Exeter, I believe. Uh, can we put a ball in there? Yes, we can, but no one's really in the position that it was crossed to, uh, which is even more frustrating, as we really haven't been able to create anything so far. And yeah, that guy's in terrific form as well. Um, so we really need to get our motor going here. And this is, as I said, I knew this was going to be a test, really. Oof, almost nicked it off the defender. Um, but I knew this was going to be a test just simply because Acton are pretty well off in the table. Uh, they do have a lot of dangerous players and I mean um, to be fair a lot of the games I've had recently like Torquay and York they're kind of towards the lower end of the table and they weren't really going to be too much of a threat. Th this team is a re the real deal really Accrington and uh, I really do need to 
good a result here because we haven't lost in the league yet. This would be my first loss, I believe, so um, we really need to get it going. Nicely done there. Chipped over. Can White get it down? No, he can't. It's gone straight over his head, but that's a poor touch by Buxton. But Winard was in there. Uh, pretty poor for the, my new signing, Gutierrez, as well. He... He's conceded um, already, and I mean, you could so put him uh, at blame for the goal as well because he should, probably should have been in the middle there. Uh, tried to flick it on there, that didn't work. Um, can we win it there? No. Yes, maybe. No. Bit of a tussle, but um, in the end, we couldn't quite win it, sadly enough. Um, We've done well there though, can, no, Collins can't get there. Oh, we've won it nicely there though. Morris, can he chip it over for Midson? He just about can. Can Midson get in here? No, it's another great challenge. And we just cannot break through this resolute Accrington Stanley defence at the moment. Ah, oh, nice tackle there though, but again it's a poor touch. And no one's really offered much. Here's a chance for Collins though after that poor touch. And we're going to try and run it down the wing now. Hopefully he's got enough pace. And enough stamina, and he's not. It's a nice ball in, and it's White. Oh, it's hit the bar, but it's come back to us, and it's a goal. It's one all. We're slightly jammy. There was a clearance, but uh, thank God we've got an equaliser here. It's White's fourth league goal of the season. He's racking them up brilliantly. But uh, I thought this was going to be a. I thought that was going to be one of. The, well, I, I I just thought this game was going to be one of those games where I was just going to be hitting the bar, hitting the post, and missing everything. Uh, and when that hit the bar, um, I was pretty scared that uh, this was going to be one of those typical FIFA games. But uh, luckily their defender messed up. And now we've actually got a chance to make it two here. And can we completely surprise them here? No, it's another good tackle. So um, Accrington is shaking and we really do have a game on our hands here. i will say so far this has been the best uh, half an hour start to a game so far. Although that's a poor cross. Midson well offside. Not really sure why I crossed that in, to be honest. He was miles offside, as was the player uh, behind him as well. So, um, poor decision there. Well, that's a nice flick on again, though. And Accrington are causing me all kinds of problems at the back. But it's well played by Jones, who clears it away to Collins. Oh, I don't know what I was playing out there. Um, I, think, oh, I was trying to play it to the striker, but it just didn't angle it right. So, I don't know what already happened there. White, can he nick it off him? He can do. And he's played it into Midson. And Midson, oh, it's a poor pass. I should have played it over the top there, but um, that was not where I wanted it to go at all. And now here's a chance. Oh, Hatfields with a poor touch. And now I've got a chance again. And again, it's given away. And both teams are slightly sloppy here, but both teams look threatening going forwards. And here comes Murphy for Accrington. And they're trying to break through, but he's offside is Oddie Amy. Uh, we got there anyway was the goalkeeper, so it didn't really matter. I have no idea what I'm thinking there either. Um, so I'd say a shaky start from both teams here, really. Accrington probably had the best start, but uh, ever since um, my goal, I think both teams have been pretty shaky. They've kind of been coming forward well, though. They're giving it away there, though. Uh, we need to play it back to the goalkeeper there, uh, just to be safe. Nice play here. Moore, we've finally got a bit of a grip of this game. Potentially, can Frankham slip in there? No, he can't quite, but here's Wyke trying to get to uh, the defender there. Couldn't quite, though. Um, slightly blocked off, actually. Uh, here's a chance for Miller for them in the middle. Nice by Franken there. As always, that could have been a chance for them. And Midson's got it now. He needs a bit of support, and he's tried to find Wyke, but to no avail, really. Wyke could have won it back, though, and Wyke really going for it. But it couldn't quite win it there. Um, that's a nice interception, but it was just such a heavy touch. And I have no idea where they've got the throw in there. I think that was a bit unfortunate for me. Um, oh, and again, almost nicking it off the defenders. Oh, and Miller was very, very uh, good there. Uh, just evading my two strikers. Well played by Gutierrez there. And that's not a bad pass by the new centre-back. And can Midson slip it through and it's white. And we're trying to play it in the middle now. Ah, oh, couldn't quite slip it through. And was that Gutierrez that was making the run through there? It, I think it might have been. Um, so we're now kind of exposed at the back of it. But that's a nice tackle by Richards. And his cons was a chance to break. And that's a poor ball to Midson there. Uh, but that's poor defending as well. And it's actually Morris now. And Morris has a chance at the far post. And he's cut inside. Oh, we've hit the post again. Frankham. Oh, I should have took a touch. 
And, well, that was a bit of a um, close end to the half there. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful cut inside, and he couldn't quite find the finish, sadly. Um, this has been an action-packed game so far, though. Um, Chesterfield winning there. Um, and... Scunthorpe drawing was Wickham there, so a couple of um, interesting games going on. But uh, this is really even Stevens at the moment, and anybody could win this. Um, but, I mean, that is frustrating, hitting the post right at the end of that half, because I thought that was a golden opportunity to put us ahead. Um, Hatfield is really coming forward well here. Morris, he's found Midson, has he? Midson, oh, he couldn't quite slip through. Midson's not exactly had the best of games so far, I have to say. Uh, oh, they've got a chance here. Can Gutierrez as a new signing get there? No, he can't, but they've... Oh, they almost lost it, and they're trying to slip it through now for a second. And they're, they're pressurising me, but look at Richards. He's done brilliantly well there. And Richards, and he's clipped it over the top to Midson. And that's not a bad touch by Midson. And Midson, and it's into Richards. It's saved, and I probably shouldn't have crossed it into Richards, of all people. Maybe I could have gone alone with Midson, but Richards not exactly the best finisher in the world. Richards, has, though, has found Collins. And Collins has found a bit of room, but it's blocked. Oh, we couldn't quite win it there, Reza. Collins couldn't get there. Can we get... Oh, brilliant header by Moore. And we're trying to slip it through to Collins, but he wasn't making the run annoyingly. So, um, even more frustrations there. And now here's a chance for Oddie Amy. Uh, who's done well there as well. Uh, we could be under pressure here. But, oh, it's nicely played by Fuller. This really is a bit end-to-end -end at the moment. Anybody could uh, score at the moment. And the ball's going all over the place there. Midson hasn't really got many options down that side. And then, um, oh, that's poorly given away. Uh, Morris has won it back, though. And now a free kick's been given. So it really is all over the place at the moment. Chesterfield winning 2-0. That's nicely blocked. Pretty sure he didn't have his yards. But uh, not too bad in the end. Here's a chance for Morris now. And Morris, and he's cut inside. Oh, we took two it. The touch was just too heavy. But they've given it away again. And can we sweat it across? Oh, that's shocking from their defence. But we'll take it. Wikes fell on his arse celebrating. But it's his fifth league goal of the season. It's his second of the game. We've pulled another sweat out of the bag. But we, we will take it at this moment in time because it's passed 2-1 up. And we've come from 1-0 down to 2-1 up. And I believe this is going to be our third win, of the, uh, third win in a row, sorry, uh, if it stays as it is. And Frank, I mean, he's done well there. And here's a chance maybe to go go ahead and make it a uh, 3-1 here and seal the deal. And hit, Mid Midson's done well there as well. And can we find Collins? No, we can't. Um, but they are under the cosh a bit here. Our Accrington. Um, they really have faltered a bit in this second half. We've mainly had all the possession and all the chances. So um, that's kind of fizzled out a bit here, Accrington. Unless they can rally some kind of offence towards the end here. But here's a chance for Frankham. And again, the touch is just too heavy um, to get forwards. Here's a chance for them. That's nicely flicked over. And they're playing nicely there. They've built a few headers together there. And here's Oddie Amy. And now they've got a chance, but Jones has done well. And Frankham, nice touch, took it in his stride. And Midson, he's tried to clip it through to Wyke, but not quite in the end. Buxton now. And, oh, oh we've done well again there to win the ball. We, we really are on it in this second half. If you compare it to the first ten minutes, it's completely different. And Collins has done well there, and he's played it into Midson. And Midson finds Wyke. White hasn't really got much room there. We found more. This is nicely worked. Fuller. Midson. Can he find a bit of room? Saved. Collins. Turns. Oh, just wide. That was beautifully built up, but the, the finishing touch just wasn't quite there. Midson cannot score to save his life at the moment. And I think we're quickly just going to make a few changes to try and uh, bring a few flesh, fresh players on to consolidate this. Um, so on comes... Thing my Bob there, and Arthur is going to come on for Midson because Midson's had an absolute mare in this game. To make a change. So and two changes here. Hopefully it will seal the deal. Nicholson and Arthur. Arthur's got a bit of pace, so he can rip this defence open. Hopefully, um, we cannot afford to concede though, and 
do a Dagenham and Redbridge all over again, although the circumstances were slightly different in that uh, game. Here's White, couldn't quite clip it over there to Arthur, and it's gone back to the goalkeeper. Nicholson has apparently been in poor form, which I'm not quite sure about, because he did score uh, one goal in the first game of the season, I believe it was, but uh, I guess he hasn't been that effective in the games after, so uh, hopefully Nicholson can maybe get a goal here. Uh, to seal it. Oh, Frank and very unlucky there. He's been that bright spark again for us, really, I would say, along with White. Frank has really been uh, pushing forward and going for it. That's a great tackle. I thought he was going to give a penalty there to do typical FIFA. They've got a chance, though! Oh, well, that's just made it interesting again. Uh, we were defending a bit for our lives there. Two possible penalty appeals for them. And it's Oda J. I keep saying, I'll say Oda Oddie Amy because uh, the different player that I always used to remember it's Oddie Jamie sorry and it's just a toe poke into the corner and once again it's shades of Dagenham and Redbridge once again we were 2-1 up and we've thrown it away um, unless we can go and get a goal again here Nicholson uh, couldn't quite clip it through Arthur his Collins maybe no Moore he's played it into Nicholson who's found Frankham and Frankham has done well there and it's Collins, maybe. No. And it's Arthur on the edge of the box. No. Sadly not. And now here's a counter-attack for them. For them, even. Oh, God. They're trying to come forwards. And they are coming forward still. Uh, they've slowed it down a bit, though, now. Now they've gone for the route one pass. That's not going to work. Or is it? Because we've all gone a bit of a mess there, has a defence. And the defence is really getting in a mess here. And here's a chance for Jamie. And he's wriggled away. And he's found Weber. Oh, my Lord. Well, we have completely screwed this up in the dying embers of the game. And I don't know how that's happened. I don't know how he managed to find the free ball there. My three defenders just got in all kinds of tangles. And somehow, from 2-1 down, Accrington have pulled it back to 3-2. And it's the second time they've led in the game. But here's a chance for Collins, maybe. Collins, Arthur. Wyke. And he's found Frankham over the top. And Frankham. And no, we couldn't quite clip it through there. Here's a chance again. Collins. Moore, he's got a belter. Oh, but it's blocked. Oh, we cannot quite get through this defence. They've been resolute the whole game. And, oh, God, here's a chance for them to make it four. Our defence has been shocking in this game. But here's Moore. And can he clip it over? And he can find Frankham. And here's a chance. But we really are running out of time to find anything here. Nicholson. Clipped over the top and Franken once again being the source of the problem for Accrington. But that's not a good enough cross. But Nicholson's put it in the box. It's punched away. Oh, it's gone perfectly to Weber though. And it's full time. And well, uh, exasperating. And well, what can I say about that result? It's Gutierrez's first game. And the defence has conceded three goals there. May have been the, I think it, well, joint was the Reading game. That's the most goals are conceded uh, um, in the season so far. And it is our first league loss of the season at home as well. And it's just poor defending. That's exactly what's cost me there. Um, and I mean, very frustrating, to be frankly honest. We really did throw that game away. We had 12 shots. They had four. And they scored from three of them. So, uh I guess that was just typical FIFA there, to be frankly honest. But uh, we should have took our chances better. And in the end, we didn't. And it's come back to bite us in the arse. Um, and it's severely not going to help us in the champion uh, in the uh, chase for promotion as well. So um, let's look where we are in the table now. So, yeah, we're down to... Uh, actually, no, we've stayed fourth somehow. So results the other way kind of went for us. But... Um, we're now seven points behind the league leaders in Chesterfield. So um, we really do need some good results in the next few games. And our next game is Exeter, which is on a Tuesday night. Um, but thank you for watching this video. And until next time, goodbye.